So we are ready, ladies and gentlemen. The main event of the evening, AC 107, Magomed Ismailov against Alexander Emelianenko. What a fight. Maga is ready to have a show. He wants to give fans what they want to see. And this is show, of course. Magomed Ismailov versus Alexander Emelianenko. Alexander in the center of the cage. Magomed Ismailov is circling around. What a nice left hand. Right hand by Magomed Ismailov. And he gets Alexander down. He takes him down. What a fight! Alexander is a very skilled Sambo practitioner. He knows how to fight on the back. He knows how to defend himself. But it, it was a very long time when we last seen, have seen him on the ground because he always uses his hands as a boxer but right now Magomed Magomed fights very well on top half guard position Alexander is holding him of course there is a question how much energy has Magomed Ismailov because uh, as you can see in the fight with uh, Vladimir Minev he has he had energy only for two rounds and he won them but after that he gave up he ran a lot of gas that time of course I think he understood his mistakes Let's see what happens next here. There's some, some punches to the face. Alexander didn't show us anything as for right now. He just defends himself, but I again repeat, he's a very skilled Sambo practitioner. Combat Sambo, mainly. Maga uses... Uh, elbow in the interview Alexander Milenenko said that he understands that Magomed Ismailov will be able to get him on the ground and he is ready to fight on the ground with him Alexander Milenenko have been training in Grozny training a lot and he said that he is in the best shape possible for this fight. They are on the ground right now. Continue to work in. Magomed is still holding Alexander, even that Alexander is, has uh, more than 20 kilos advantage. It doesn't bother Magomed at all. He is still able to hold him on the ground because of his tremendous skills as a wrestler, freestyle wrestler mainly, and Samba practitioner too. Magomed gives some punches to the face and the body. They still continue to fight. And uh, of course, Magomed wants to give some punches to the liver, maybe. from this position. Magomed still continues his total domination as a fighter on the ground on top. And of course, there, there were no doubt that he can take Alexander down because he's shorter, but there, is a, there was a doubt 
whether he can hold him there and how much time he can hold him there because Alexander very good at uh, at uh, grappling he's a very skillful grappler but I repeat we have we haven't been seen seen Alexander grappling's skills for many for many time this fight this fight is over guys this fight is over it's over or not I didn't quite understand if it's over or it's over or not no it's not over the fight is not over yet there was a bell it was saved Alexander was saved by the bell wow what a fight guys what a fight look at that look what just happened here how it was possible for God's sake, how it was possible. Right now, there is a question whether Alexander could recover from this beating and whether Magomed has energy to continue his total domination. Second round, Alexander Emelianenko versus Magomed Ismailov. So, fight continues. Magomed Ismailov, Alexander Emelianenko. I don't know what to wait. This is insane. What happens here is insane. Alexander took some punches. He takes some punches from... It's a beating. It's just a beating. Alexander Emelianenko. What a fight! Magomed throws some hooks. Alexander does the same and Magomed is able to get Alexander down again. They are on the ground. They are on the ground, guys. They are on the ground. Magomed continues working as he worked in the first round. One more punch to the face. Another one. Alexander Remilenko answers back some punches he understands that he's losing he is losing what happens here guys what just happens here I just don't understand this is insane this is insane what Magomed is doing he is winning. But as I said before, Magomed has good energy for one or two rounds, as we have seen with the Mine fight, when he throws all he has, of course. Let's see what happens next and whether Alexander can survive this storm or not? That's the question. Alexander is still trying to hold Magomed. Look at the face of Alexander. It shows it all. It shows it all. 
another another punch to the face by Magomed. That's another one. And then elbow goes to the chin. Another elbow. Alexander is still working. Magomed is on top. Transfers the guard. Right now he's on the half guard position. Punch, punch to the body and to the head. And Alexander, it doesn't seem to me that Alexander right now will use his uh, Samba skills. He gives his back right now, as you can see. Magomed Ismailov punches to the face again. This fight, as for right now, has shown that the faster you are, the better opportunities you have. And it's true that they say the bigger they are, the harder they fall. But this fight is not over yet. It's not over yet. It's just the second round. And after this second round, we will see what Magomed is capable of. Yeah, there is a friendship between these guys. It's just the second round. We are waiting for the third one. Magomed is very tired too, as you can see. Let's see the review. What about Alexander? I think he has more energy than Magomed right now. But only the third round will say true. Will show us true, of course. Will show us true. So the third and final round. Alexander is going down. Tries to catch. Alexander tries to catch, but he is still on the ground. He is only on the ground again. He is on the ground again. It's better to show his skills. I mean, come Samba skills right now. Right now, Magomed is on the side control. There's a guard here. Punch to the body and to the face of Alexander
Magomed is still working hard on top. And he uses very well. He does some damage to the body and transfers it to the face. And Alexander is not able to get up. Alexander is not able to get up and uh, Magomed holds him very tight. Some punches to the face of Alexander. There is a cut of in Alexander's face. Magomed is still working hard here. Here is some punches to the face of Alexander. Yeah, who could? predict that who could predict that and the referee calls doctors to see the cut whether Alexander is able to continue it's a big cut So the fight continues in the same position. Magomed is still working hard here, tries to finish the fight. Alexander tried to get, uh, take the hand of Magomed and the referee stops the fight. Referee stops the fight. Magomed is a winner. Magomed Ismailov did the history here. It's a history in the making. Magomed Ismailov is a winner of this historic fight. A middleweight can beat a heavyweight. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Let's see with the review how it all ended. Tremendously. Who could who could predict that before the fight? Tell me, guys. Who could predict that? For sure, Magomed is number one fighter in Russia right now, of course. Let's see what these guys say. the interview
Bold Predator, as Magomed is called in Russia, Bold Predator.